Toy, the first EWA champion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EWA. We are here for Gold Rush at the Telford YMCA. It's going to be time for our Nice Guy Andy Podcast Championship, Icon Lee versus Joseph Miles. And gentlemen, we hear the music. We know the music of Mr. Icon Lee. And here he is. Icon Lee, your nice guy, Andy, podcast champion. And you see him actually holding two belts right now. Holding that New South Wrestling Cruiserweight Championship yes. and the Nice Guy Andy Podcast Championship. Two belt icon. This icon, Lee, absolutely insufferable. Well, gentlemen, he has to defend that title against a hometown hero in Joseph Miles. We will see if Joseph Miles can match the intensity of Icon Lee. What is it? Did I just see him? He disappeared. You know, these things happen. It's a, it's an observed phenomena in this strange world we live in. <laughs> Sometimes people come and go. I think he's playing possum. I think he's laying in wait, perhaps going to spring a trap on his opponent. Listen to the fans. And look at the face of Joseph Miles. The intensity. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on. I knew it. I knew it. Thought we got rid of him that easily. No way. I can't leave back. And they're, the they're brawling here. And out of nowhere, Icon Lee ambushed Joseph Miles. Oh, 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 he blocked it, though. He blocked the ring post. Oh, and it turns it into a, an attack of his own yeah, there. Turnabout is fair play. Yeah, he's, he was ready. Miles is ready here. Oh, and a super kick to the side of the face. 
bouncing oh. his head off that apron. Taking him around the ring, toward the audience. Oh! Everybody wants to see the look of anguish on the face of Icon Lee. It's giving, like the fans, giving the fans their money's worth right now. It's like Jessa Miles is ready. Look at, look at the face, the intensity. Drive by drop kick. Beautifully done for Miles. Icon's in the ring. Miles, he's heading to the top. Miles! Oh! Underway now after Shotgun, that drop kick. Yeah, shotgun missile drop kick. Blasted him in half. And oh, almost, gets almost gets the victory right there. Executed flawlessly by Joseph Miles. And before he even came out, I talked about matching the intensity of Icon Lee. And just what we've seen so far, gentlemen, I think Joseph Miles has done that. Oh, Icon's got him up. Went for a snake eyes right there. Didn't get all of it, but he's going after the eyes. Two for one special. Take them both out. Hoisting them up over that shoulder once again. Oh. Hits him with the snake eyes there. He got it. Not charging in. A spear. That's a big one, time spear. Nothing two. but impact. The intensity of Icon Lee, hard to compete with, but what is also hard to compete with is the speed of Icon Lee. He's like a little gnat just everywhere. He's, he's very cunning. It's a great word to use. He's, you can see that he, he just spends all day miserable in his, in his head thinking about ways to take it out on other people. All he wants is gold. All he wants is to hear his name announced as a victor. He doesn't care about anything or anybody else. The Nice Guy Andy podcast, that's just a toy to him. To, to put his name out there. To get that Icon Lee brand over. He'll step over anybody and anything in his way to get this goal. Icon Lee putting on social media earlier this week, Joseph, I will sit a tongue with you tomorrow night. We purge your body. Purge is a strong word. That is. Icon Lee in full control here. Looking for a springboard. Oh, misses. Joseph, you got to fight back. Oh, no, drop toe hold. Wasting just a little bit too much time. Here comes Icon Lee. Double knees to the back. And now up and over he goes. Says it's his domain. Icon Lee. Nice elbow drop there from Icon Lee onto Joseph Miles. Yeah, just slingshots his body over the top rope. Might be wasting a little bit too much time though. Just letting Joseph Miles catch his breath here. Taunting him, yeah, that's not gonna help you win this match, Icon. Just taking that right boot and gently tapping Joseph Miles, but Miles fights back to the midsection. But Icon Lee counters with the knee into the neck of Joseph Miles. Icon Lee still angry that he lost to Ethan Hire to get that opportunity for that money grab ladder match that we saw to kick off the night here in EWA Gold Rush. Beautiful power slam. Oh, that was a very close, very, very close count right there. So quick and so crisp. Icon Lee. This Nice Guy Indie Podcast Championship on the line here. And gentlemen, we have seen it over the last year. It has been quite a journey for the Nice Guy Indie Podcast Championship. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Manhattan man. drop. Indeed. And now there's a scoop. Oh, takes him right down. on his head. Yes. Uh, up to the top. We saw that drop kick earlier. Maybe looking for another one. Miles has him lined up. 
Oh, looking for the double axe handle. He is met by a fist in the gut. And Icon Lee, gentlemen, might just turn the tides once again here. But is he going to be able to capitalize? He's more focused with his crowd. He's more focused with himself. More focused with his ego. And now just paint brushing him with his fist there. Look at that smile from Icon Lee. Referee Dallas Warner telling him he's got to open that fist. Trying to fight back is Joseph Miles, but he takes a club and now a snap suplex, and he's hanging on to it. There's another one. Is he looking for the trifecta, gentlemen? Three for three, indeed. Oh, he's holding on for more. More. Going for the quad now. Oh, no. Hang on. Maybe looking for that. Snapmare driver, but no, there's an uppercut there. Oh, looking for that spinning back fist, and there's the Insigiri, nicely done. Spins out, catches him with a shin right across the temple. He didn't get all of the uh, spinning back fist, but he made up for it with that kick. Joseph Miles looking to change the complexion of this match with that Insigiri. Cam Miles put him away. Miles has him up. Fireman carry position. Spinning TKO! Go for the pin, Joseph! This might be his opportunity. He's got to get over there, though. Don't waste any time. No, he wants to go to the top rope. He's sitting at 500 on this, gentlemen. This is a bad idea, Joseph. Miles to the top. Oh, very, oh. very close call right there. Icon Lee barely got out of the way. Look, look at the face off. of Icon. Look, he, he knows he knows this is it. There's that snapmare driver. Connects. Oh. Brutal, brutal One, ending. Two. Good night. Icon Lee retains the Nice Guy Indie Podcast Championship. And gentlemen, great match between the two. Time of the match. Six minutes and 58 seconds. We talked about the ego, the attitude of Icon Lee, but maybe the attitude, the posturing of Joseph Miles cost him that championship. You're, you could be absolutely correct, but nonetheless, Icon Lee walks out, your nice guy, Andy, podcast champion, and hangs on as he still represents the brand. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our friend Trippin' Balls here at the uh, broadcast table. We uh, we love having you here. Thank you so much. Pleasure and as always. Nowhere else I'd rather be right here at the Telford YMCA for EWA. Still got a great second half of the show coming up. Thank you so much, Trippin' Balls, and we'll be wel welcoming in Austin Medler in just a moment as we come back. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EWA Gold Rush. Aaron Rose alongside Mr. Austin Medler and DJ Otis Badass. And uh, Medler, welcome in, sir. Oh, it feels so, so good to be here, Aaron. I am pumped to be back with the EWA. We have a big night of wrestling action continuing on. We're in our second, uh, second half of the show now, and we are getting set for a battle between Adrian Alexander and Chris Crow. 
And I got to tell you, the fans here in Madison County, they love both of these competitors. It's going to be an amazing match. There's a lot of split allegiances in the stands. There is. And let's go back to Mercy for the introduction of Chris Crow. Chris Crow, it's Adrian Alexander, and we are getting set for this contest, and I expect a very athletic contest. Untouchable, undeniable, unbelievable Chris Crow. We have seen it many times when he gets laser focused and he puts that spear on his opponent. There is nothing more exciting, that's the word I want to use, than that spear from Chris Crow. It is one of the most exciting moves in professional wrestling. And really, these are two of the most exciting competitors. We are in for a treat. It is a sudden burst of energy from Chris Crow when you see that spear. But Adrian Alexander, he can kick it up a couple notches, too. Chris Crow uh, coming off. Chris Crow coming off a concussion uh, about a couple of weeks ago at one of the fair shows uh, here in Kentucky. and. Uh, took on a uh, took on an individual that we've seen here, Brandon Wolf, and uh, those two had a super hard hitting match. And uh, Crow feeling feeling well, he's back back ready to go here against Adrian Alexander. Chris Crow and Brandon Wolf both showing great sportsmanship, congratulating each other on that match they had. Wouldn't you like to have been there for that one? Certainly would have. But there's nowhere I'd rather be in Richmond, Kentucky right now for the EWA. Medler, you're too kind. You're full of energy tonight too, aren't you? <laughs> it's hard not to be in this kind of atmosphere. <laughs> I don't know if I can match his intensity. Drop down, and now look for that arm drag and spins him almost out of his boots there. Deep Super arm drag, Ricky Steamboat style. Super quick, Chris Crow. Is Crow maybe, uh, he's, he's, I thought he was gonna go for the attack, but he's a, uh, He's relishing the moment now, gentlemen. Chris Crow defeating Tony Corral in EWA Prime 009, and very nice match from Chris Crow. Oh, up and over with the clothesline. Takes him out again. Crow perching himself up on the top rope, and down he goes, oh. landing on Adrian Alexander with a splash. And ladies and gentlemen, it is hard to describe the impact you feel when someone comes flying from the very top rope to the outside and hits you like that. You could hear Adrian's breath just leave him as Crow connected there. There's a punch into the midsection now, forearm. Oh! Wake up call from Chris Crow. Good night. And just look at the size that Chris Crow possesses over Adrian Alexander. And I'm not talking height-wise either. No, 165 pounds, Adrian Alexander's not one of the larger competitors here, but he's proven time and time again the size of his heart and the incredible ability that he has. Chris Crow, 235 pounds. That's a lot of weight to make yeah, up. That's a lot of muscle. Look at Crow working on that ground game here. Got him in, in kind of like a modified octopus stretch. Adrian fighting out. There's an elbow. Adrian sending off the ropes. There's a close line of 10 misses. And the oh! swing blade beautifully done from Adrian Alexander. That's the kind of innovative maneuver you could expect out of Adrian Alexander. And that's why the fans love him so much. 
creative, crafty, innovative. Adrian Alexander, double A's. Oh, swing blade of his own. Crafty of his own, too. Anything you can do, I can do better. Here's a count. And a kick out at two. Maybe even cagey, perhaps. Ooh, good term. Good term. I like that. Expanding the vocabulary of the EWA announced team here. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> Oh, in the center of the ring here. These two back and forth. Oh, oh. All right. All right. Oh, forearm there from Adrian. And a forearm from Crow. Look for that discus clothesline misses. Oh, thunder bomb. Count two. Kick out of two by Crow. What an incredibly intense matchup we have here tonight. Austin Medler, you have seen Chris Crow a few times. Aaron Tiny Rose, you have watched Chris Crow over the last year and a half. Just how good, how much has he improved over the last year and a half? Oh my goodness! Oh, just what like a that. mountain oh, arrow there! Just like that right there. <laughs> good night! Wow! I don't think we need to expand upon that question. No, I mean, we've seen laser focus out of Chris Crow. He's really at the top of his game right now. And it's a lot of fun to watch. Spinning Falcon Arrow from Chris Crow. That was beautiful. Undeniable for a reason. Crow, he's getting ready to head to the top. Adrian Alexander in the middle of the ring, trying to get back up. Chris Crow up top. Crow up and over. Adrian Nobody moves. Home. Adrian charges in with the super kick. Oh, and a spinning into Gary there from Adrian Alexander. Looking for that clothesline, catches him. Flips wow. him over. My goodness. Here's the count. One, two, the kick out at two. And I don't know how Chris Crow kicked out from that. Unbelievable maneuver. What do we call that? Oh, Impressive. kip up, kip up by Crow. And at this point, Adrian's got to be asking himself, what's it going to take to keep this man down? And now Chris Crow getting down to the level of Adrian Alexander as he comes back up underneath. Wait, Adrian to the outside. Crow's got him by his feet. What? What does do? Does he have the cowbell? He does. Is that? Is that the cowbell from that may be. Tony Corral? Oh, oh, no! Come on! That Referee's wasn't a trip knee. That's a blatant low blow. Referee's back turned low blow to Crow. And it seems like Adrian Alexander is struggling a little bit of what he just did, what we just saw in the rain. I don't think he's struggling now. Nope. Running elbow to the back of the head. Grabs both legs. Puts him away. Wow. Adrian Alexander with the low blow. I'm, I'm stunned. Not the kind of tactics we're accustomed to seeing from the double ace. I cannot believe that. No. And we hear the crowd booing a little bit They're, over the uh, underhanded tactics of Adrian Alexander. But did we say this previously leading up to something like this? You know, it was, it was loss after loss. Wait a second. And here comes hang, Tony Corral. Hang on. Hang on. Tony Corral, Morgan Jane are out. Tony Corral has the mic. Let, let's, let's see what he has to say. Wow. Things have taken a weird twist here. Cut the music. Well, well, well. Adrian Alexander. How does that feel? How does that feel winning? Huh? Calm down. Calm down. I'm right here. Now, about three or four years ago, when me and you run the country everywhere, we were everywhere. We won. We won everywhere we went. People hated seeing us walking in the locker rooms. That right there felt great, didn't it? 
Did that not feel great? Uh, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Serious. More cowbell for Adrian Alexander as he has just implanted that cowbell into oh, come Chris on. Crow. And now Tony Corral getting in on the action on Chris Crow. And gentlemen, the page oh, is turned for Adrian Alexander. This is just this so disappointing. The crowd here at the Telford YMCA stunned by the actions of Adrian Alexander. Adrian Alexander has turned his back on the fans. Oh my goodness. And I know that Adrian has been frustrated with the way his matches have been going. But that's but not the no, way. That's not the not. way. Why do you align yourself with someone like that? Gentlemen, I will quote an old Hank Williams Jr. song, Old Flame, New Fire. And that is exactly what we have seen here between Adrian Alexander and Tony Corral. As these two have been reunited here at the Delbert YMCA and EWA Gold Rush. Adrian Alexander turns his back on the fans of the EWA. This was my time, but I was wrong. This right here. And gentlemen, real quick, while we have a moment here, I want to say congratulations to the late Dale Mann, who received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Jamestown Lake Fest Celebration July 4th weekend at Triple Crown Wrestling Show. If anybody in the state of Kentucky has wrestled over the last 50 years. Somehow it goes back to Dale TNT Man. You're absolutely correct. Gentlemen, before, before we move along, I, I just want to add one more piece of analysis to this. They've probably pissed off Chris Crow. There's no doubt about that. And that's not necessarily a smart thing to do. No. We got more action coming up. Zachary Don, Party Mike on deck here at EWA Gold Rush. Don on his way out to the ring, of course. He made his impact back at a Rumble Royale in April as he uh, attacked the man that, they're, that he's going to be wrestling here tonight, Party Mike. And uh, those two are, are having a rivalry that's just not stopping. It is a rivalry that has spilled over into EWA. It, it, it's, it's gone from, from multiple promotions here. And the one thing about that Rumble Royale, it made you pay attention a little bit more to this newcomer, Zachary Dodd. Absolutely correct. Everybody needs more cowbell. I so got I've a fever. Mr. Farrell. Uh, so I've heard, Mr. Farrell. <laughs> I got a fever. And the only cure is more cowbell. <laughs> The cut man and the life of the party. Party Mike here in EWA. And now that's a man that likes his wrestling covered, smothered, and chunked. But there you go. Is there a better <laughs> way? 
felt like we're referencing something we did a couple weeks ago. Certainly not. <laughs> Zachary Don making his presence known here in EWA, making his presence known once again to Party Mike. And as you said, he may be a relative newcomer to the EWA, but Party Mike knows him well. Prime 008, Party Mike had defeated Joseph Miles, Tyler Logan, Zachary Don for the EWA number one contendership in that four way match. But then, not too long after that, Henry Shaw defeated Party Mike and Zachary Don for the APW title number one contendership three way match. These two just keep crisscrossing each other, and there may be no end in sight to these two. Zachary Don rolls out of the way and immediately just uh, showing off once again. Hardy Mike. Hardy Mike waiting on him. Oh. There's an arm drag. And he's got one more there. Kick to the midsection from Hardy Mike. Beats him with a running knee lift. And into the corner, here they go. Hardy Mike. Oh, oh. met with an enziguri. Rocking party, Mike hasn't taken a big man down yet, but here comes Don, springboard. Maybe looking for that arm track. Beautifully done from Zachary Don. Incredibly athletic maneuver there. Don charge again. There's a running knee right into the face. Now Don charging in oh. with a running blockbuster. Beautifully done in the center of that ring. Here's a pin, the count, and a kick out of two. And Zachary Don just laughing. About that running blockbuster, you can tell he's having a good time in this one. The cut man going to work. I'm party Mike here. Where was the cut man when we had Ethan Hire to our right opening up tonight? I think we could have used one. We could have used him. Big props. Very high impact start to the show tonight. Big props to our security team and, and to, to everybody who was involved in that match to, to get him cleaned up and ready to wrestle again. And what a credit to Ethan Heyer. He had just the guts to get back out there and go at it again. Absolutely correct. Talked to Zachary Donna earlier this afternoon and I asked him, describe your mindset. And he said, I'm an opportunist. I asked Party Mike. His mentality, his thoughts of Zachary Don, and he said, Zachary Don is a thorn in my side. And oh, and a sidekick there from Zachary Don. Here's the pin, two, and a kick out of two. Hardy Mike donning the type that normally that normally uh, says, I am in for a fight tonight. Far different than what we saw the last time. Right. I think he knows he's in for a fight. And he may not be getting the better end of it now, but I believe he's going to give some back. Don in control here. Breaking the face of Party Mike. Austin Medler, I'll ask you, how do you counter the speed, the athleticism of Zachary Don if you're Party Mike. It's not easy to do. And you know, you said Zachary Don said he's an opportunist. Party Mike's gonna have to take a page from that book as well. Any chance he gets to stop and ground Zachary Don, he needs to take it. Very analytical there. Almost professor-like. No mad scientistry involved in that answer whatsoever. <laughs> Zachary Don with that with that chin lock there and Party Mike trying to fight back, trying to get back to that vertical base. Rip the hair, the I guess that's here. Come an on optimistic now. move. So Zachary Don has him lined up, misses. Rip cord. Close oh, there. That's a way to counter speed. 
Nicely done from Party Mike. He said going into this match, he's just looking to get hands on his opponent. His opponent, Zachary Don, looking to get hands on his opponents in the future. Nicely done by Party Mike. Oh, look at that springboard. And turns it. Wow. Well, I was going to say he was looking for that blue thunder bomb, but he just drops him right on his rear end there. And now Zachary Don going up top. Don's got him lined up. Don. Oh, Whoa. beautiful frog, see that? frog splash. The air he got on that frog splash, unbelievable. Nearly picture perfect. <laughs> yes. Not to take anything away from Jordan Cage. And now the crowd chanting for Party Mike, Zachary Don. A little self-motivation there. Look at that super kick, but he's caught. Oh! oh. Oh my goodness! Hits him so hard, he face plants him off that elbow onto the knee. That can easily oh, dislocate a knee. There's the jabs. Maybe looking for that dusty elbow. Yes! Oh. With some momentum from Party Mike. He's got, oh. Oh, oh. right into the man, DDT! Party Mike maybe looking for that blue thunder bomb. Nope, Don fights out of it. Jab right to the nose there. Catches him. Gets him into wow. the blue thunder off of the springboard. Here's the pin to count. Two, no, and a kick out at two. I can't believe Zachary Don kicked out of that. Party Mike, look at the expression on his face. He's kind of shocked that Zachary Don kicked out of that one too. I don't know if that was a kick out or if he just kind of figured out, couldn't figure out where he was. Rip Cord misses the clothesline. Don with that super kick, rocking Party Mike now. And hits him with a twist of fate. Nicely done from Don. Could he put away Party Mike here? Maybe looking for that unprettier. No, into the corner he goes. Mike charging in, he's met with an elbow. Don headed to the top, high rent district. Don charging in, oh, caught, oh. caught. Oh my goodness. I can't believe what I just saw. One, two, yes. Your winner, Party Mike. What an incredible, incredible display of strength by Party Mike there. Party Mike getting, extracting some of re revenge over Zachary Don. And you know he's got to feel good for that. Lottie Dottie, we like to party. Party Mike just beat somebody, and that somebody is Zachary Dawn. Time of the match, seven minutes and 32 seconds. Party Mike with an all-star special here tonight in EWA Gold Rush. We have more coming up. Alex Angel, Marcus Johnson on deck, and the EWA Championship is our main event here tonight at EWA Gold Rush. Stand by, we got more coming up here at EWA Gold Rush.